Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along to Battlings and Minehead. This is the Coral UK Open, brought to you by the Professional Darts Corporation, live on ITV Sport. Well, it's time now to meet our players. Would you please welcome the asset, Paul Nicholson, and the raging ball, Terry Jenkins. <laughs> and in the commentary box for our first game of this year's UK Open, which has a little bit of a difference to it. A very warm welcome to those two old sparring partners, Alan Warren a little, and hi, Stuart Pike. Yes, thanks, Jackie. It is a, a strange old day, isn't it? But the show must go on, and the show is going on. Uh, we managed to dig ourselves out this morning uh, of our hotel in nearby Dunster to get down here and as we heard 90% of the players have made it so that's the reason that we are going ahead it's a real pity for uh, the fans uh, who have managed to make it down to Butlins uh, but as we heard health and safety uh, is paramount and here is Terry Jenkins not the Terry Jenkins that most people are uh, used to seeing uh, the reason being is that Terry uh, suffered uh, a nasty car accident a while ago and as a result of that alopecia uh, and lost all his hair but uh, had a brief chat with him half an hour or so ago uh, thankful and lucky to be alive he admitted after the car accident and just happy uh, to be here as he said if uh, if the hair was the only thing first that he lost he first. Then all Keep is on. well so two old stages two uh, former big names uh, who are hoping to fight their way back to the top of the sport of darts. It's Paul Nicholson against Terry Jenkins and the 2018 uh, Coral UK Open is now officially underway. And of course, we'll keep you right up to date with what's uh, happening on all the other boards. Uh, first to six 83. Uh, to get us through to... Uh, round two later on. And the winner of this, by the way, uh, will play Richard North in the second round. Have to get to the third round to start earning your prize money. I know a lot of people 60. have been asking about the big boys. Will they come into the action in round three? Uh, the FA Cup of Darts. So you may well find that with an open draw later on. 140. Uh, Gary Anderson could draw Michael Van Gerwen, Rob Cross... Uh, could play Peter Wright. That's the beauty of this tournament. But all the big names will be in action later on. And these are important darts for Paul Nicholson. What is it? 180 uh, of the UK Open. And uh, should be interesting. Nicholson against Jenkins. 60. Uh, both scrapping for their, their darting futures. But a victory here would be a Big, big win for for both players. The uh, the people that you can see in the crowd in the background, by the way, are 97 players, family, and friends. They are allowed in. A little shake of the head from the ball, but it's good to see him back. One hundred and forty in the big time on the big stage, Alan. Yes, he really enjoyed himself in the UK Open qualifiers. Hadn't played a PDC tone for quite some time. Managed to qualify for this one as Paul Nicholson looking to take the first leg. Is it a maximum? 90. Tell you require 78. 16 for the leg. So chance for Jenkins against the throw. Well, that was emphatic. Double six to break. Ooh, 72. Yeah. He thought it Ball was in as well. 16. It just clipped uh, the inside wire. So reprieve here for Nicholson to take the opening leg. Yes, we're not he first the first, first leg. From Terry Paul Jenkins. Nicholson. He really Sound would like have fancied taking that first, first leg against the Keep throw. But not to be. Well, both these players got so much experience, Stuart. They've played on the Pro Tour many 16. times. Used to playing behind closed doors in the Pro Tour events. So, won't be too much of a distraction. One 
100. If you are just joining us, the, the, we are on stage two here and uh, the main skyline arena at Butlins as Jenkins looks at a maximum. Uh, not in use this weekend. I think it's at 140. Yeah, 140. Yep, 140. Paul Hink's getting carried away, but it was definitely a 140 to the bull. Yeah, the main arena, we're actually, our commentary position is in the main arena. It's all very eerie. Um, empty, silent, cold. Um, the main arena will not be used at all this weekend. But the UK Open will be played through all the way to Sunday night's final. 78. Yes, the bottom line, Stuart, is everybody's made a marvellous effort really just to make sure that the event goes ahead difficult circumstances a good response for this from Nicholson playing really really well that is a 180 second one possible 11 dart leg 99 for Nicholson 81. Jenkins had two darts in the first leg to break. He needs the ball. 33. Teddy Ricard, 124. You feel it has to go here for Jenkins. Oh, can't now. Still in the top 64 in the world, Terry Jenkins, around the, the number 40 mark. Now, despite the fact he didn't play for a year, 92. he decided to give it another 48. go in 2018. I think the fact that there's no entry fees may have persuaded Terry Jenkins that it no. was worth another go. Knowing Terry, yes. <laughs> so double 16 here for Paul Nicholson. Game show in the second leg. Like Paul Nicholson. Good double. Good Third emphatic. Good emphatic finish. Uh, from Paul Nicholson. Yeah, good start from Paul. European tour, so all the players are used to this format. But you can't afford to give somebody too big a start. 123. Leave yourself a lot to do. the better for there he's already had two maximums 140 he's played well he, he's, he's, he's worked really hard hasn't he I mean Paul Nicholson just through lack of form disappeared without a trace to be honest with you but fair play to him he's worked really really hard Nicholson to, to try and turn things around and you know it seems that he's on a, an upward curve of course Nicholson a major winner on ITV Sport, winning the, the Players' Championship at the Circus Tavern, beating Taylor in a thriller, 16. and then beating Mervyn King in the final many, many years ago. Nine years ago, I think it is now, but um, he just lost his way, lost his form. 31. At the moment, he's winning this match emphatically. Yeah, a lot of players will testify to the fact that when you are trying to get back in the match, into these tournaments and up the rankings, it is very difficult. The standard nowadays is just so hard. You can play well and lose. 100. Put you on the back foot, even though you are still playing pretty well. Paul is one of those players that does put the work in. He's in a good position 41. here. Paul Ricard, 141. One of those players that keeps his composure, doesn't he? Takes his time. Works, works a lot on that side of the game. From Nicholson. Reached a quarter final of the UK Open finals back in 2011. 96. His best performance. Terry Jenkins, the UK Open, one of the, the nine major finals that he lost. He reached the final here in Minehead in 2014. Runner up again. And there Robin is the first 180 Jake for Terry Parker Jenkins. 55. Really good timing. Puts pressure on Nicholson here. I feel sure he'll go 13 for double 16. Two darts for three nil, despite the maximum from Jenkins. Again, game he hits it with the last leg. darts to it. Paul Nicholson, yeah. fourth leg is Terry to throw first. Game on. Well, Terry Jenkins, you know, is in a very exclusive club. 
He is one of only five players incredible. to have played in all 16 UK Open finals, going all the way back to 2003. Uh, Terry Jenkins, Steve Beaton. We've seen Nicholson looking for another well, maximum. Yeah, yeah, Jenkins, Beaton, Alex Roy, James Wade, and Wayne Jones. Five players who've played in every single. 83. Of the 16 UK Open Finals. Yeah, it's great from those five players. Ninety-three. He needs to get into this match pretty quickly, or it could be all over. As we mentioned, Stuart, he, he did contemplate retirement. Yes, he, he, he didn't I play much he, last year, did he? No, just 95. a couple of tall, I think he. He played a couple of player championships towards the end of the year just to see if he could qualify for the world championship, didn't he? To find a way through, but... He actually he just missed out, didn't yeah. he? If, if I remember rightly. Kind of some decisions of maybe not playing some 92. of the in the early part of the season. Has to hold here, you feel. 100! That last one there, just couldn't flick it over the first dart. He's playing really, really well, isn't he? 120. The last time, the last time that Paul Nicholson won a big TV match, the World Match Play in 2014. Oh, he's missed the single 19. He needed the single 19 to leave the ball. 70. Paul, the ball. Well, Paul Nicholson missed the big 16. Yeah. But as he said, Stuart, that was more significant because it would have given him a dart to maybe get himself back in the match. Could be 4-0. That's a couple of legs. It's been the last dart. And he's done it again. Shot on the fourth leg. Paul Nicholson. Nicholson. Fifth leg is Paul Nicholson. Killer dart. First. That last dart. Came on. As a player, you stood back thinking you're going to get a shot. And then all of a sudden, it's taken away from you. Yeah, absolutely. That's an incredible stat, though, isn't it? His last TV victory, the world match play, 2014. Paul Nicholson. So, two legs away. 140. Yeah, Terry Jenkins, those two darts, he actually uh, missed 72. the opening leg to break the throw. Yeah, put him on the back foot straight away, didn't it? And he missed those opportunities very early in a match. Paul Nicholson is looking pretty good, composed. Well, he gets his third maximum. Crowd are going wild. 60. Of course, the action is taking place across eight boards in total. But Paul Nicholson at the moment is making very easy work 95. of this opening game against Terry Jenkins. Let's keep you up to date with all the other games. 100, Paulie require 86. Well, Nicholson here with a chance to go 5-0 up. We'll have those scores for you in a moment. Let's just see if Nicholson can make it 5-0. Well, that wasn't in the plan. Well, he went bullseye double 16 anyway. He didn't need to with Jenkins back on 269. I think he hit the, the double 17 <laughs> there as well. Well, I think he's just taken his eye off the mark there. Went for... Single 17 with the last dart. One out of the double. Paul required 23. Would have left tops, but now he's got a little bit more work to do. And again, maybe for the third or fourth time, Terry Jenkins has left himself and finished around the 120 area. Well, will it be another last dart from Nicholson? Oh, not Seven this time. Scored. Terry required 129. That's a good start. Oh, he went for the treble 12. 89. But Nicholson here with three 16. clear darts to go 5 0 up. It's been a good performance, a composed performance from Nicholson. He knows he's in a good position, but he doesn't want to give Terry Jenkins anything. But he has. Well, he's not Terry happy despite 14. being 4 0 ahead. 
He's missed five darts to go 4 0 ahead. Started with missing the big number as well. He missed the big 17. Yep. 20. Well, Paul Jenkins, five darts at double. He's missed the lot. A let off for Nicholson, surely this time. Well, when you're 4 0 down and you get that chance, it, it's just one of those yeah, that goes in like or doesn't. And obviously, Nicholson. you're under a little bit Six more pressure. To throw first. Game on. It's 5 0 to Nicholson. Mentioned the last time. Well, Jenkins getting to the final here in Minehead in 2014. He beat Nicholson on the way. Table's certainly going to be turned today. One more leg for Paul Nicholson to get through to round two. 140. To play Richard North. Well, that should be a, a cracking game. Yeah, we will bring you updates and. Looking for number four. 140. 140. Nicholson. Looking for number four. 140. 140. He's keeping the pressure on Terry Jenkins. Yeah, averaging around 94, uh, which at the moment is more than enough for Paul Nicholson. 60. Just those small moments for Terry. He's missed his chances early on in the match. He missed those two darts in the first leg. And it's been downhill since. Paul Nicholson has just kept his composure. Terry will seven. be disappointed. He'll be trying to work on the fact that he doesn't want to get whitewashed here and forget about the match at this moment in time. Not happy with that one. He needs to stay up there, though. No, he's, no, he's thinking about it. Still thinking about it. Well, he got there in the end. 44. Paul Lucar, 160. And has left a finish of sorts. Nicholson may well have six darts from here for a 6 0 whitewash. Hmm. At the moment, it looks like you'll need them. 82. Terry Lucar, oh, 157. One. And the shake of the head from Jenkins tells you everything you need to know. 101. Paul Ricoir, 82. For the match. Bullseye for double 16. 25 would be handy if he misses it. Well, that's a, a long way off there. 42. Well, the last six starts from Nicholson, probably the worst six that he's, he's thrown. So to avoid the whitewash, get a leg hey, on the board. Terry Relief. Jenkins. For Terry Jenkins, but Nicholson with the darts to wrap this one up. Yes, you can see from the look from Terry Jenkins there, the relief of getting his first leg on the board. Didn't want to get whitewashed. 140. The atmosphere is similar, I guess, to the Pro Tour. 123. Isn't alluded to. Just wondering. Well, we have 22 players' championship events over the season. We've yep. got the six UK Open qualifiers, and they're played under the same, with the same atmosphere because there's no fans allowed in. It's just players' guests. So it's very similar. So most of the players will be used to it. It's just the fact that it is a TV event, a major TV event, and obviously the decision was made quite late. So it's in the back of your mind. It's been a change. But everybody's aware of that now, so they've got to get on with it. I'm sure it will affect some players, you know. I mean, we, we talk about players who, who perform better on the floor and players who, who rise to the occasion in, in the big match atmosphere and the big crowds and all the noise. Especially when they get a close game as well or somebody somebody's on a big finish or a nine doubt or even, as I mentioned earlier. So it's all down to... Keeping your composure. Here's another one of those for double ten. Well, sets it nicely 100. with a ton. Terry Jenkins has been feeding on scraps most of this match and has had to take out some of these big finishes, which he hasn't done. 
But this one is to stay in the match. Game and the ball time. is starting to rush. Game it's taking game. him a while. That's just Everybody typical, though. That's typical us. Terry Jenkins, isn't it? As soon as the, the treble went in, you just fancied the double would too. 108 finish. Nicholson was sat on tops for the match. And he starts Whoa, the next leg with a maximum. Game. Now, this almost puts your opponent, despite being so far ahead, with that little bit of doubt. Jenkins in a great position here to take this leg. 16. All of a sudden, from 5 0 to 5 3. Seeds of doubt. It does have, it plays havoc with the back of your mind. It really 16. does. Terry will be aware of that as well. mentioned earlier but Paul Nicholson keeping his composure he plays a lot on 59 the emotions of that tries to keep his composure throughout the match it's a big moment for him as well breath from Terry he did start the leg with the maximum 41 the next two visits haven't been the greatest if it does go to 5-3 Never know. 43. Almost spurs you on as a player when you know you're going to get beat and all of a sudden you're back in the game then you win another leg and then yeah. another leg. You're almost at that relaxing stage where you think you've lost a match so you just relax and throw. Yeah, Nicholson, not panicking just yet, but his dart suggests he's concerned. In his mind now, he'll be thinking of the next leg because he knows he's throwing first. Yeah. He's got two more chances of throwing first if he needs them. Oh, he won't want to go to the last leg. No, absolutely. <laughs> he really won't. That 108 from Jenkins just made a difference, Nicholson. Was sat on tops for the match and Jenkins wants yeah. tops for another yeah. leg. Yeah. Wow, it's three on the spin. At 5-0, well, it, it, it surely was game over. But not anymore. All the pressure is on the man throwing right now. It's a strange one as well, isn't it, when you say that? Because people will look at the score and think, well, surely Paul Nicholson is a favourite. Yes, I understand that. But in the context of the match and how it's flowing at this moment in time... 92! It was an important one for Terry there with that last dart because Paul Nicholson, only 57 with his first visit, needed to just improve that a little bit. You can see now the pressure. He started to tell on Paul Nicholson... You know, when you've not been used to, 41. as you mentioned, Stuart, winning matches on the TV big stage, it's harder. Terry has got to take advantage, and he hasn't. 26. 26 the hard way. That's a let off, isn't it, for Nicholson? He's got to try and hold it all together. I think it's much more uh, about the mental side of the game here for Paul Nicholson. And in the past, he's been the first to admit that, that mentally he hasn't been strong enough to win games. But that's a terrific response, isn't it? Needed a big score, finds a big score, gives him the advantage. Well, it's been a great opportunity here for Terry, and he hasn't taken advantage at all. So that's the bit he'll be disappointed with. And Nicholson, back in the front seat. 140 with the last visit. Should move down for 19s. Single at least to leave the finish. Terry Jenkins can't leave one. Well, Nicholson's to lose from here, surely now. 59. Paulie Ricard, 164. What a time to have your worst leg. Terry Jenkins, we mentioned, getting back into the frame. Get another one in there. Oh, last one. That'll come out the back of the hand. And he has to stay up there as well. Even a ton's no good. Uh, be disappointed with well, the last oh, one was God, thrown away, three. wasn't it? The whole of the last leg. I mean, he hit a trouble tw uh, trouble nineteen in the first visit, but since then it's. I mean, he's had twelve darts and he still wants two, three, six. Well, he's thrown 18 darts in this leg, Paul Nicholson. He won't mind a jot. 
He now does have match darts at tops. Yeah, well, have you have, Terry? May go for tops here, strangely enough. No. 58. Went for. Ball sure what he went for there. It was right in the middle of the big 18. Well, look, Nicholson on tops. Jenkins not on a finish after 18 darts. That should be a good guide for Nicholson. That was a nervous dart. And so was no that. Score. Now, whatever happens here, Stuart, he will be nervous coming to the board Absolutely. because he knows Terry will be on a finish. Not the best finish. 58. But he's already Ball hit the 120. 14. Also had a 108. Important darts for Paul Nicholson. These tops. Pressure, no score. pressure, so pressure. The smile on the face disguises the pain he's feeling. He'll feel even more now. He's missed six match darts. And Jack Hinton oh, take him out of 120. Unbelievable. Well, a nod of approval from Nicholson, but he's only himself to blame. Well. He let the pressure get to him and he couldn't handle it. I mean, that was just all, all over. Stuart, it really was. I mean, Terry Jenkins, after 18 well, darts, sorry, 15 darts, still wanted 2-3-6. 24 dart leg with a 120 finish. They all count. Even the crowd are dumbstruck. They've gone quiet. Well, if you can hold here, this is going to be a strange last leg. If you are just joining us on ITV4, it is the opening day of the UK Open Finals, but the adverse weather, which has really affected things down here, heavy, heavy snow, and it's meant that we're unable to well, use the Skyline for? Arena, the main stage, so this is stage two in Reds, and this will be come the main stage over the weekend, but because of health and safety concerns, 100. Uh, the Darts fans on site, not being allowed in. Uh, the people you do see are guests of the players. I suppose Paul if, Nicholson. Well, if he loses this, Stuart, we mentioned about 82. how long ago since he won yeah, on TV. I mean, it, it will be a big dent. You know, he's made big efforts to get himself back. Been playing reasonably well on the Pro Tour. Got himself qualified for this tournament. And this would be a real backward step for him. Well, out of those six match darts, you know, only one was remotely close. And that was the first one he threw on the top wire. It was the perfect marker. The five that followed were certainly not. Well, that's pressure on Terry Jenkins. Jenkins 5-0 down. Looking to level up this match. It's his favourite. Oh, it's on the wire. Paul Hit it a few times in this match already. Now, which way does Paul Nicholson go? Does he go for the 25 ball route? Looks like he is. And he's not even close, really. He's feeling the pressure. That's a great dart, though. Double turn, another match dart! And another match dart has come and gone. He would have fancied it after hitting the treble with the second one. It looked good, but Terry, Terry Jenkins. Well, what a fighter Terry Jenkins has been over the years. I don't think he can believe he's in this position from 5 0 down. Well, here we go. Last leg shootout. A good use of the first dart from Nicholson. 100. That's okay. But from 5 0 down. Terry Jenkins has been gifted this opportunity by Paul Nicholson, who has now missed seven darts to win the match, Nicholson. Without a victory on the TV stage for nearly four years, Paul Nicholson. And if he does get to a double, those doubles will look remarkably smaller than they are when you've, 60. as you said, not had a win for such a long time and missed match darts in this one already. Well, music to the ears of Paul Nicholson, I can assure you.
22 call by the referee, Paul Hinks. Both players will be very much aware that even if they're behind, the leg isn't over. But this is great darts for Paul Nicholson under pressure. What a he gets his fourth maximum. Oh, what a great time. But we've questioned, we've questioned his mental strength early on in the game. And Jenkins what responds with a 180. Fantastic from both. But Nicholson has got six darts from here. But for Nicholson to find that 180, that was magnificent under pressure. Was, yeah, well, we had a bag of spanners for the first few throws, but a maximum apiece. Oh, this is a single. So it still leaves him with something to do. Got second one. Oh, one not a bad third either. Well, this is in the melting pot, Stuart. What's your call? Well, if, you, if you're Paul Nicholson, you, you cannot believe that you're in this situation. Needs the treble. So Jenkins here, you would think, 41. is going to get a match dart. One dart at tops for an astonishing win. 54. Uh, mad at himself there, but again with Paul Nicholson with the last dart at the board on the previous visit. Has still left himself with some work to do here. Yeah. He should have had at least two darts at a double, Nicholson. May only have one. So here it is. His eighth match dart. 31. Well, oh. astonishing. He can't believe it. Terry can't believe it. But this is his moment. That's a great guide for him. What a marker. Oh, four match darts missed. Who well, wants we may, it? Not, we may not have a big crowd, but we have a thriller here in the tension. opening match. The tension, you can feel it, it's crazy. You can see the look on both players' faces. Well, he needs two double eights. And he finds two sure double eights. Paul oh, Nicholson. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Much, much relief. Ten match dart for Paul Nicholson. He was 5 0 up and he nearly blew it. Terry Jenkins himself had four match darts in the decider. But Nicholson somehow finds a way to win on the TV for the first time in nearly four years. Nicholson six, Jenkins five. What a start to the UK Open finals. Well, what an incredible opening match to kick off the UK Open 2018. Paul Nicholson 5-0 up against Terry Jenkins, needing one more leg to win. Terry brought it back to 5 all, missed four match darts. Paul nicked it on his 10th match dart. Wow, what a match that was. And those are the stats. 83 to Terry's 88 in terms, out, in terms of checkout rates. 30 five of his 15 six out of his 27 for a very very relieved Paul Nicholson with his first TV major victory since the world match play 2014 congratulations wow you did that the hard way thanks Jackie that uh, that double eight I I've got to be really honest uh, the first one was not on purpose <laughs> I know double eight was kind of me in that game but not that kind um, it was a, an, an adrenaline dart uh, it came out really hot and as soon as I hit it, I thought, you know what, maybe fate is trying to tell me something that Double Eight's been kind in this game, and I've got to hit it to win the match. And uh, luckily I did. What was it like to play out there in this kind of atmosphere? Because people who joined us at the top of the show will know that there are no fans allowed inside the venue, health and safety, given all the, the issues going on outside. Was it weird for you? Yeah, it's very strange because when Terry and I were drawn against each other for the first game on the main stage, we've already mentally prepared ourselves for... Um, a, a quite a quiet atmosphere because we know that Fridays are quite quiet in the UK Open when we played at Butlins uh, but we didn't think it was going to be this quiet uh, and I didn't prepare myself for being 5 and up I can tell you that <laughs> um, so maybe I've got to do that a bit more often but for me it's just progress uh, 2018 I've, I've spoken to Mace about this at length this year it's all about just making baby steps because I've still got the talent 
I mean, the average doesn't tell a story there. I played really well at the start of that game and just let Terry back in the game, had shots to win the match, but I've got to give him credit. He, some of the shots he took out were phenomenal, and that shows the class he's still got. And I, I really hope he's still got a career ahead of him because he's still got brilliance. Yeah, Chris, a word about Terry, because the last time we saw him on TV was this time last year, and he was looking to try and get back into it. He, he didn't think he was going to play qualifiers, but he still had his tour card, and now that they've done away with the £100 entry fees, he yeah. thought, well, I may as well have a crack, and, and here he is again, but he's still yeah, got plenty he, he, to offer. Yeah, he retained his tour card, and when they made, the en- made it no entry fees, he thought, well, why not give it another go? Yeah. You know, you don't have to worry about sponsorship. He does it on his terms. If you don't want to play, he doesn't have to, and... He's still very, very dangerous. We have the beauty now of all the events that they play in. We have Dart Connect, so every Dart is recorded. You can watch it in t- in real time, so we know how well he has been playing. And when the draw come out, me and Paul obviously worked together doing the Premier League. We we're like, well, you know, there's some easier draws out there for you. But in a way, it, it was probably better that he, he had that type of game. And and again, as he said, the averages really weren't weren't. I mean, there was twenty odd wasted darts. If you take them away, it was mid nineties. Mm. Good game. Yeah, well, good luck to Terry. He hasn't got too far to go, has he, to Ledbury and Herefordshire compared to some. You'll be bobbing upstairs in a couple of hours to take on Richard North, so good luck to you for that. Thank you. Great to have you up here. Good to see you back. And, Thank you very uh, much. We'll see you later. I hope you make some money because you've got one more to win. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to get yourself a taxi home after this. Well, now, most of our first set of games are drawing to a close, so let's get all the latest news from that front with Ned. That's right, Jackie. Seven first-round matches already done and dusted. I'll bring you up to date on those, or some of those, in a second or two. But just to give you a little bit of a progress update from Martin Schindler, who landed at Gatwick Airport and is en route through the snow here to Minehead, hoping to be able to sign on by 4 o'clock in the afternoon so he can enter the third round phase, the German dart player. Well, he's just sent us this little message from the road. Hey, guys, it's Martin Schindler, and uh, finally I'm on the way to the UK Open Finals. To Minehead, uh, we still have two hours to go, so it will be a long way, but finally we get here, so we are very happy. Happy boy. He's got about three and a quarter hours to make it to sign on in time, so it's looking good for Martin Schindler, which is good news. OK, a few matches have come to a close. Let's just have a look at some of the winning darts in action. First up, well, 6-0. Harry Ward getting the better of the local lad, Daniel Lee, from Minehead, who actually walked to the venue through the snow here, but no luck for him. Uh, um, Benito van der Pes against Christo Reyes, high caliber encounter, went all the way to the 11th leg. Benito getting the better of Christo, 6-5. And then look at Walshy playing in a hoodie, Mark Walsh against his old mate from Hertfordshire, Alex Roy. And Alex getting the better of him, 6-2 in freezing conditions. And here is Alex. Um, it is cold here, isn't it? Well, first of all, congratulations on the win. You're once again into the latter rounds of the UK Open. Ever present, this man. 16 editions of the UK Open finals and a twice quarter finalist. You love this competition, don't you? I do. I'd like it to be warmer, <laughs> but it's just one of those things. Um, um, you know, I, I've got here this morning, trek, trek through the snow from my B&B and uh, got here this morning and just knew, knew what we were going to expect. So, um, no, I've done, done my job today so far and hopefully get on with the next one. I have to say, Jackie, honestly, the heating is broken in the multi-board room. So it's not just, we're not just making this up. It is absolutely icy in here. And Walshy playing in a hoodie, that didn't put you off. That's unusual, isn't it? Well, I've been very good friends with I've known Mark for about 30 years, so... Um, I looked at Russ when he was, and I said to him, "Is he going to take the hoodie off?" And he just, he just didn't say anything. So, Russ Bray, the referee. Yeah, yeah. So um, he, he played in his hoodie, and I, I might consider playing in my, my jumper if I'm playing in here again. So <laughs> we'll just see. But hopefully, they can fix the heating. Well, yeah, you're delighted. You're in reds next, aren't you? You're yeah, uh, next yeah. up in action. Yes. Well, uh, it's, it's, the heating's on in there, so yeah. it's nice and warm. So yeah, hopefully it'll be all right. Yeah. Every chance we'll be hearing more from Alex Roy as the weekend progresses. I would imagine. Good to see you up and running, Alex. Back Thank to you, Jackie. You. <laughs> yeah, well done, Alex. We'll see him here shortly. I've got to say, it's not that much warmer in here. A massive coat to be putting on. It is pretty chilly everywhere you go. We've got massive doors out there where there's snow drifts coming on. But hey, at least we're not outside on the beachfront. Wow, it is absolutely Baltic all the way around the country. But we're up and running here and we'll have Ryan Harrington taking on Richie Burnett next.